guys welcome back to my channel so i decided i'm cutting my hair so this is after i washed it started trimming it this was the first original style that i did and then i realized the next day i did not like it because i tried to do a fade in the back i'm like there's no way i could walk with that so i dyed my hair and then stay tuned Okay, so I freshly washed my face. Um, yeah, because I did a pixie cut, like I said before. I did a pixie cut, and now I'm just adding my moisturizer. I want to see how it's going to look. It's been a while since I cut my hair off. So, like, yesterday I was just playing around, and I kept on trying to figure out how could I do this from, like, what video I watched where they develop like the back, the bottom part is bald or wherever they start the bald part at and they move upwards. But then I kept looking like it's too much hair, it's too much hair. Um, I don't like it. So I ended up just trimming it really, really down until it shaped my face. It took me longer than expected because this is the first time that I've done that. And now that I've like, usually I'll cut all my hair off with scissors. But now that we got decent clippers, I'm gonna just keep experimenting. Revolutions, brow gel. So they have like this line where everything is under $5. And I was looking for some like brow gel. And I'm just gonna going to make my eyebrows fluffy because being that I cut my hair, I want my makeup looks to fit my face. And I want it to be like natural, natural beats. So fluffy brow, soft beat, all that. So I just dip my little uh, spoolie in there. So I can shape my brows. I'll zoom in up close. And then do the other side. And I love when I do my shortcuts because back in Brooklyn, I never really wore wigs heavily until like 2018, 2019. I've always had a shortcut. It always, I feel like it suited me better. I got in, it's low maintenance to me, in my opinion. But I went to this lady and you know, it just brought me back to like all that I've been through. Like for me, I don't need to have to do my hair all the time. And I feel more comfortable when everything is like raw or just soft and really me so put that on there and i'm just let it dry i was thinking about doing eyeshadow but i'm not gonna do that this was my elf i read it every time power grip primer so put that on Usually I use a brush to like rub all this out, but and I shouldn't have put it up there, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just eager, overly eager. My bad, my bad, my super fly shit is over there. Um, is what my eyebrows look like my face looks really moist right now but just gonna wait for that to dry and i'm gonna put some translucent powder over my eyebrows well setting powder so when i carve it out yeah it so at this point i know i messed up i put a so lot of powder on my powder. eyebrows i should have blew it but you know i was just playing around <laughs> I 
first, I just kept on going with the powder. Like, how much powder do you need? So I started rubbing it off, rubbing it off, because, you know, I'm trying to give this YouTube vibe. But I knew I look a hot-ass mess, and I was just hoping, like, you know, this whole entire time, like, I could fix it. So, <laughs> and then I'm just sitting there, like... <laughs> And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use my LA Girl Brow Pomade. I'm organized as hell, trying to find things I could. Yo, it was just giving a mess. It took me longer than expected to find one little ass brush. You know, I was just thinking, like, I already recorded so far. Let me just finish. Out this big doofy ass brush this is the star wars brush i got from walmart i couldn't find my little one so <laughs> i can't find my small one so i'm taking a risk with this because i might not get what i want exactly i'm just gonna gently carve out my shape and then i'm gonna just do a couple lines Fill it in. All right. I'm just gonna brush it in a little bit. Yeah. And I like the LA colors, everything. From the concealer, down to the pomade. I used their uh, foundation one time, I liked it, and their eyeshadow. I just like drugstore, cause that's all I know. I remember do the same thing for the other side. Back up, it was given. Back up, back up. <laughs> like, I don't have no real proper setup, so I'm trying to like do one, fit my whole head from one side to the other side. So bear with me, because you know, this so, is a, a, a baddie on a budget tutorial. It's not even a tutorial, it's just up. me. Or it doesn't look like. Aftermath of me to doing me. the picture good. <laughs> a whole mess. Just gotta trust the process. Next I'm using is my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. It gives you like a satin finish. And my color is Deep Chestnut. It's like, no matter how That's prepared I am at times, like my ADHD will kick in where it's like, I'll literally forget what I had to say or, you know, so that's why I like to plan stuff and organize myself. But this the raw, this is what it really be like from day to day. Cause I use these products all the time. But when that camera comes on, it's like a blur for real. And cutting my hair just made me feel good. Like I don't care about nothing. And I felt like, what am I doing my hair all the time when I'm not going anywhere? It makes zero sense. Versus, and I was just thinking like all the other times beforehand, I was not pressed for my hair to grow. I was not pressed to do my hair all the time. I don't do OnlyFans and it's just an expense. I'm spending all this money just to look good when I look good with my actual hair. Like bald, Short Jake, long. I can't lose, I can't choose. Bitch, you know? I'm just pouring up another one. You, you won't choose. You just left me at the bottom. Ah, ah. And in hindsight, every time I cut my hair, my ass looks fire. So, yeah, that is a thing. So when there's less no, hair no at the top, lies. it's like all of a sudden your butt looks. It's bigger. getting bakey, bakey, oh, big, no. big, big, big. Okay, boom. 
it's bounce. just me, wow, but wow. my eyebrows so still be looking down. uneven sometimes. Just I don't know. I think that's just how it is. Or maybe I just be doing it wrong. But I did. I don't know. I have no reason why it looks uneven to me. But we still going with this. We still doing our thing. Like, yo, one eyebrow is on one level, the other one's on the on the other level. But the front of my eyebrow's always been sparse. Like, I don't know, something wrong with me. Foundation on, I use Fit Me 355, and sometimes I use 356. Those are two things that I use all the time. And I be covering up my beauty marks, and I need to stop doing that because I got beauty marks on my face, on the side of my ear, I be marked all over. But I need to stop doing that whenever I do my makeup. It's like, girl, why are you hiding yourself? Why are you hiding yourself? Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to use my Wet n Wild setting spray on my brush. It's the wrong brush. This is smooth this all out. Cause it's not too much. Not too much. Just enough to cover my face. Cause the whole purpose of this is to highlight my new haircut. And I try to do a little line on the side, but it's like girl, you are a beginner, you're a beginner barber. You can't be doing all those things. But sometimes you gotta take a risk and tell yourself that you could do it. Cause maybe if my hair was like freshly permed, it would look better. But I just didn't feel like leaving my crib today cause I'm on my period. And I'm just like, you know what? It is not that deep. You're just touching the surface of something new. You're not gonna have everything all together. And in the coming, coming times, I will have the stuff that I need to do the videos. It'll be successful. Not to say it don't look good now. But that would have been a whole lot. That's what I be doing sometimes, like going outside, traveling to the store to get those things. This eyebrow has always been sparse compared to this one. So sometimes I have to go back in and like fill it in, which is fine. Yeah, that looks better. A part of me feels like, am I supposed to go back in? shape that side more no okay and now i'm just gonna go back in with my concealer because we're getting somewhere this is a quick soft beat because i'm comfortable in my skin no matter what my hair looks like no matter what clothes i got on no matter what i do and i was thinking to myself at what point in time is your real most authentic self? And that's when I had a shortcut. Because I didn't have to worry about, you know, getting up and going and doing too much. Putting on this extraneous amount. And yes, I'm using some petroleum jelly on my lips. Because I can't find my chapstick. I don't think I'm going to put on lip gloss. Let that sit for a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'm just gonna brush it out. Yeah. Yeah, my camera could cut out a little bit. So, like I was saying, I love when I try something different. And this just reminded me of like, all the times that my dad told me like you know not to be vain and stuff like that like there's nothing wrong with being confident 
and stuff like that but focusing on like vanity and beauty and material aspects will cloud you from your divine purpose and that's a fact so i was like you know what i done did all the ponytails in the world i done did all the quick weaves go back to source and that is embracing my actual hair and i'm just kind of tired i kind of messed up like i said before but We don't get everything right the first time. So I just want to do a simple sleigh. This is also LA Colors, the Biggie Lash. This is my favorite um, mascara since I bought it. And then I'm thinking if I should add a little bit of blush. Probably so. I'm just gonna spray my face to set it. And then it's the unveiling of my hair. And I'm going to use, oof. Eyes, uh, when I try to do my forehead, I'll forget, or whatever the case may be. So I did my own pixie. As you can see, I tried to do like a line on the side, but my hair is not perm, so it didn't come out how I expected it to. But I'm still waiting for my face to dry, and what I'm gonna do is add some setting spray underneath my eyes, just to set my face. I'm just gonna set my whole face. Put back in my nose ring. I can't find my other one, but that's okay. And then my hoops. This is what I like to do. I'm not gonna curl my hair again because I don't got time. I'm not going nowhere. But this is the look. Uh, it was curled earlier, but. And I'm not even going to lie, when I first turned around, I said, God Maybe damn, I should because just to see how it looked now that I, I was just teaching myself again. how to do a fade, but it's not, back. you know, perfect because I still had the mark of indentation. I ended up going back in there actually and fixing it because I wanted it to be kind of all. This is Deja, you know, this is me, D Melina. And I just feel like I don't need nothing. Like, I don't need, hold on, my powder's too much on here. Um, whether I wear a wig or whether I do my hair, this is what I look like. So I'm just gonna recurl my hair in the front. Got a little curl and never hurt nobody, even though I cleaned up already. Yeah, but I'm definitely gonna do some crazy, something crazy like, um, like something, maybe it's just this little pieces of hair that I have left, dyed like pink, red, orange, or something. Orange. I think I'm gonna do it like hot orange. And then try to record one of my videos from one of my songs, because for Can't Lose. I recorded it myself in my complex. So we're just gonna pull out my little miniature flat iron. I'm gonna do this again. And you know what's funny? It don't look that bad. This part right here don't look that bad. It would have looked even better if I had a perm 
like my perm was fresh but this was a random idea i had when i saved the video um i just started following this guy on youtube that does like his, his reels on like doing fades and all that other stuff so you see now that's now that my hair is completely cut it cut down on and the good thing about cutting my hair is that i still have enough hair like if i want to do a quick weave i can still do that so as long as i have this left just put all this down put a liquid cap over and cool some tracks in but they would just have to be middle parts until the rest of my hair grows back or i could just wear a wig but it's too hot for that so i said fuck it I'll just pass that through one more time I think I just like, what I did was, I didn't learn about what guard, I, I just rushed into it. So it was a two day process, which I'm gonna include in this video of what my hair looked like for at first. But I was like, hell no, this is too much hair. And on top of that, you don't got a perm box, so you can't, you're not gonna, it's not gonna look good. So I literally went outside, walked Pepper, and I just felt in the back of my head like, you got too much hair. It is too, too, too much, you need to cut that. And when I first told my dad, he was like, you know your hair takes too long to grow. Why would you even try to do that? You're... Don't come to me crying. Don't come to me crying. Like, damn. The lack of faith, I felt that. Because I was scared too. Like, I'm about to go upstairs and do some dumb shit. And I ain't gonna lie, when I first cut it off, I started panicking. Like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to cut everything off. I'm gonna be fucking bald. I'm, I'm I'm already bald, but it's like, did I just bald the side? Like, and even though this is like, I took off too much on the side, it's cool. I didn't have bald spots before too, so it's not nothing too crazy. You ain't never gonna try nothing if you don't do it. I've been feeling better since I stayed inside. Like, in order for me to take care of my mental health, I have to realize, like, no matter what my circumstances is, I need to just distract myself. Not distract myself, but understand that this is my present situation that I'm living in and just to avoid trouble. Because it's like, there are people in this on this earth that want the same shit as you. Some people may work for it. Other people may not work for it. And then there's people that will try to get you in situations to take your blessings away. So I just feel like sometimes it's best for me to stay the fuck inside because I know how chaotic my neighborhood is and I don't want to be bothered because I really don't care about nothing besides having fun and being happy. And I don't want nobody to think that they could take that away from me or think that I'm just this being that you can play with. Because my feelings are real and I have a little family and that's what all I be trying to think about is like, you know, I can't be getting in situations where I'm no longer around my family. That's a part of me cutting my hair too because your hair is like stress. I'll probably cut the, all of this off eventually. I'm not even curling it right because we went off thing. camera for so it to still be kind of a hot ass mess. I still need to do it. Curl it I think we're gonna touch up perm box. This is a hot ass mess. And this is uh, recurl it with a different curling iron so I can get it, have a tight curl. And I ended up combing it out because I was just playing around with it. And then I put my headscarf on and thought maybe it will be better to lay flat. But I've had my perm, my hair's been perm for about two months now. i say probably two or three months. And I'm going to see the difference. Like with the fade, I did go back and touch that up in the back because it was just a mark of indentation. So that's why I kind of look crazy. Like when you do a fade, you have to use different guards for it to be leveled out. So I'm satisfied. Thank you guys. I look bomb. I look bomb. And then after that, I went and cut my dad's hair and his mustache. He, <laughs> Of course, he made those faces because he hates cameras. And this part, man, that should look crazy as hell. Chop.